Ash Conspiracy. And uh, here we have my private collection, it's called Ash Gods. It's, uh, it's my signature collection and it's about, it's about using, going back in time, finding, finding techniques from the past and using leathers that was something once and now we want to bring them back. This is a reversed horse leather, it's from the hip of the horse, it's the culata. Uh, it's actually the flesh side of the leather. It's a Goodyear construction. Uh, we use a buffalo sole. We use a exposed um, a shank in uh, copper. Uh, we made some uh, signature pieces together with Hanson. Hanson is a uh, silver, silver smith from uh, Australia, where we made this leather uh, leather pipes. And uh, we use. Uh, for this collection we also use uh, kudu leather. Kudu is an antelope. The leathers are from Africa. This is a derby laced boot. We have a high laced derby laced boot, also the same, all the same construction. And we have a sneaker collection in the same, where we use um, also the culata from the horse. We have some uh, wrinkles in the last. Vibram sole, the best sole you can have. It's really nice. Sneaker inside. My inspiration for this connection is is the uh, is around um, in the start of the 19th century, New York. The newspaper boys from New York. This is the inspiration for this collection. For this especially small collection. We do other things also. Uh, if we need to talk technique and, uh, and future things, we have a collection here. We do together with Echo. Echo is a, it's a Danish comfort shoe company. This, now we are in the future. This is next generation sneakers. Here we inject the soles. We, we lower the upper into a mold. We inject the sole directly on the upper. It's a al aluminum tanned leather, cow leather. Uh, and the sole and the upper is totally bonded because of the injection and it's really really this is comfort it's, you cannot get more comfort than this we do them also uh, so you have an unconstructed unshaped Chelsea boots so when you wear them in, wear them in they will have a lot of wrinkles it's really beautiful same uh, direct injected construction Go to another piece of the collection. We have this here. It's the the main collection. It's made in uh, camel leather, uh, a shrunken camel uh, substance 2.0. It's really really nice uh, leather to work with because it have a lot of body. The construction here is uh, Norvegese. Comes from uh, Norway. It's it's an old traditional way of making fishermen's boots. And we to to pep it a little up. We use a vibram sole, so it gets a little more sporty with this kind of sole. It's the zippers are Excella. It's the best zippers you can have from uh, YKK. The top, so it's really really comfort. Where can I, the collection be found in Paris? Uh, this collection you can have in. Uh, Le Clerc, and uh, they have it also in Spring Soup in Marais, two, two stores in Paris. What about uh, 3D printing? Is that something that uh, you're looking at, or it's not? We are uh, definitely looking at this, and but it maybe more in uh, in the echo part of the collection because here we already work. We work all the soles when we do the prototypes is made in 3D printed soles. For me, this is this is another level of sneakers. We um, a nice nice thing you can see. This was the first one we did with the spoiler here, and but we needed a sole that was a little more basic. So we did the, there's two soles, and you have the contrast here. What we took out of this one, we put in in, in here to make the contrast. So you have a lap sole and you have a classic sole for us. Uh, 
it's all what? Horse. Horse? Yeah. Really? Yeah. This is the back side of the skin. This is actually the flesh side of the leather from the hip of the horse. Well, these Has horses that are being killed to be eaten? No, 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 no. It's, 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 it's to eat. Okay. They, uh, this is, we just... But that's we, mostly Poland then, or France? We, 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 do, we don't kill horses. It's not a, this is not a girl's pony that uh, yeah, yeah. we... This is this the, is the grain side of the leather, and this is the flesh side of the leather. The flesh, the flesh side of the hip of the horse has a nice texture. Uh, we tumble it with uh, some degrees, and we have this uh, texture coming out. Uh, it's it's very irregular. You cannot you cannot control the texture. So it, it's really hard to make the pair because you have two different skins. The shell is like a, it's a kidney shaped piece. Square feet on uh, each hip of the horse. The boot is uh, one piece construction. It, uh, there's, we have we, the only cut we have on is the zipper. So the wrist has been stretched around. Yeah. So we, we 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 don't we don't use cuts to to minimize the pattern of the leather. And and when you don't make when you don't make cuts, it means it's the pattern gets quite big. So it's quite it's quite hard for the cutting man in the factory to do uh, to do the boots and to make the pair because the pair has to be more or less equal. Right. But how, well, where did you get the skill from, and how did you start, and where did your passion I'm, I, begin? Uh, I'm from Denmark and. Uh, Always work with design. You know, before before doing shoes, I work with the uh, furniture. And uh, furniture is is, uh, is three dimensional. And actually, shoe making is also uh, three dimensional. It's about shapes. But you're not a sculptor, a sculptor as, as well, yeah. are you? Yeah. I, it, so shoe, make, shoe making is about making lasts. It's about making constructions. We, we, we care a lot about making uh, the right construction. This boot is, is Norwegian stitched. It's uh, a superior version of making good gear welded. Good gear welded is you have a weld on the shoe. Normally you put the weld down, but here we put the weld up and we stitch. After putting the weld up, we apply the sole. Normally you do a one stitch, but we did a we did a double stitch. It's very very hard to make this double. Is this stitch. a technique you invented yourself? Because the Italians are not no, doing the, this. The, the, the Whitman stitch is an old traditional way of making fishermen's boots from Norway to make waterproof boots, old traditional. But we we take something from the past and we bring it into the future to make. Now these are a special collection. That's even too high for lecture. This, this is this is a special collection because the culatta, one piece, is is hard to make. So we only make we. This is a limited edition, ten pairs. So James here from some last things, he can. Uh, we promised him we can do ten, ten pairs. And. Uh, the cutting man in my factory is he's already crazy about making the 10 pairs. Am I looking at a thousand euro pair of shoes? Sorry? How much are they? It's a 1,500 pair of boots, but they're worth it. Wow. But they should to last. This is a piece of art. Yes.